today we'll start the supplier chapter or uh, procurement chapter you can call it end to end <laughs> so let's begin so just like customers uh, set up we had a requirement of custom category custom group payment terms is like uh, can be used for both supplier and customer no need to create it again so we have to create a supply category supplier group and then we have to create a supplier and then we'll move to supply invoices, individual things. And then we'll go to end to end cycle. We'll see the requisition BP. We'll see the purchase order creation from that. We'll see receipt creation. We'll see supply invoice creation. And then expenses. So big work to do. Let's begin with supplier groups. So maintain supplier group. Mm -hmm. uh, why I forget this is some other idiot. So supplier name, let's think about a unique name, uh, Adani. Yes, we'll say Adani.
डिफॉल्ट रेफरेंस टाइप हम डिस्कस कर ही चुके हैं जस्ट लाइक अ पेमेंट गेट वे लाइक पेटीएम फोन पे तो नो नीड टू गो थ्रू दिस अगेन ठीक है क्रेडिट कार्ड इज जस्ट लाइक अ क्रेडिट कार्ड यू कैन सेट अप अ क्रेडिट कार्ड ऑल्सो सप्लायर क्रेडिट कार्ड restricted to companies again if you want to use the supplier for a particular company like gms usa just mention the company or company has a key name like this and then you will not be able to use it for any other company dns again dun and street number is a global number for given by a credit rating agency that's a number given by them unique number so if you have that for the supplier add it it give you credibility and reliability also and supply category supply group we already discuss acha customer account number now people ask ki bhaiya why customer account number if you have anything you can just mention that acha certificate of insurance state if this is a insurance based or supplier then you can put the insurance state and when we would be giving discount to this uh, From the supplier, so what would be excluded, or what you want to exclude? A uh, freight amount, tax amount, other charges like that. So we'll let, we'll not get into this. Okay. Uh, default reference type we already discussed. Credit card we have discussed. This is good one. Uh, default supplier payment memo. Even we would be printing checks for supplier. Okay. At that time, you can print a certain text on the check. Thanks. for providing goods and services to us something like this huh so uh, like sweet sweet x for them always separate payment when we would be processing the payments for the supplier Okay, suppose there are ten payments for the supplier. So instead of clubbing that into one payment, we are saying that we'll send ten different checks to the supplier. So click on this. Do not pay during bank account update. So somebody else is updating the settlement bank account of the supplier. Just like supplier informed us that now my bank account has changed, and please process all the payments from now onward to this bank account only. So what would happen is, if somebody else is updating and you are also processing the payments, and this is checked, right? Then the payments would not be processed because this has been checked. Means once until unless someone is uh, done updating details, the payments will not be processed. So this is like created by the integration team. Let's see if we have anything. Uh, all integration systems. So basically. the integration team creates a web link from our account to the supplier account and any time we process the payment from our account to supplier account like for eft and direct deposit and all those things this integration would come in a uh, use handy and this integration will process the payments from our account to supplier account so right now there are many uh, let's see normally it's uh, the naming convention is remittance let's see someone has created the same thing This is the common one. The remittance, yes, good. And just like customer, if you have any proposed children, if you this is the master uh, supplier, and then you have uh, three, four more suppliers beneath it, you can add them here. Let's add a phone number. This contact information. Uh, let's add an Indian one. Okay, phone number is uh, 
Okay, phone device is a mobile. Primary use for billing remit to and shipping pool and visibility is public means this address is visible or this phone number is visible to public address. Uh, here we can do something. So we'll say 10th cross 15th Avenue City is New York. State is New York. usage here we have to define the address usage for what purpose apart from billing remit shipping we'll say we'll use this for mailing address also for other business also for street for text reporting and then let's add an email also email is hhh or twitter and gmail.com And this would be a primary address used for billing, remit, to and shipping, and for procurement also. Visibility again is public. <coughs> now let's go to the settlement bank account. Okay, we'll add on bank account. Now this is a supplier bank account, not our bank account. So where the supplier needs payment from us. Twitter and CFC. Okay, checking means our current account. Okay, country I'll pick India because it's hard to find the US bank codes. And so let's pick India only. Now it will ask for an FSC code. Yes, so let's say SGFC. Bank name is EFC Limited. Account number is your. Okay. Name and account. So, what's a supplier account name? Adani Ports, right? Adani Ports. Bank instructions. We don't work on anything. So, the plier connection payment times and payment types. I'll just tell you about the basic one, which is important right now. Okay, requires pre note. So, pre note is nothing but <coughs> checking, like, suppose you add, have you used a credit app? or any other app which verifies your credit card by sending one rupee to your account? Yeah. Okay, so simply for verifying your bank account, okay, the main bank account or your bank account will verify if you have added the right bank account details by sending some, uh, we call it penny test. Okay, they will send a penny in your account or the supplier account just to verify if the account details are correct or not. If it gets credited, then yes, it is correct. If it doesn't, means it is not correct. And then you have to look at back your details. So pre-note payment type is EFT. Now this is done. Tax information. Okay. So if we have any tax details uh, for the supplier, they have provided some tax details, then yes, you can use the tax IDs and tax status here. Okay. Otherwise, leave it blank. Simple, simple. Alternate names. So it it has any alternate names like Adani, Adani. Let's say Adani port, Adani shipping. Okay, and where this name would be used? So let's say uh, purchase order name, doing business as like this. 
and then you can say limit with this one like this procurement options okay if this supplier can invoice any other supplier then we'll click on this checkbox enable text changes in the supplier portal enable your supplier contact to enter the change or change text information on supply invoices created from purchase order so basically there's a concept called supplier portal but that's very high level thing we will not get into that so what happens is they, just like this link okay what you're seeing right now there will be like a separate uh, id and password for the supplier contact to whom we'll reach out to for like saying that okay uh, we have processed your payments was the status of goods and services so just like that we have supplier contact who can log into supplier portal and then they can change the text details uh, if they have any there will be separate link like this okay so workday will generate a special link for them where they will use just like our uh, we use like id and password same thing and i'll just show you on the home page they will have a worklet or dashboard where they will have three four applications to use like my uh, open supplier invoices my po's uh, my receipts and all those uh, kind of things because right now we don't uh, have any purchase item which we have created or uh, spent it but let's for demo purpose let me add one later on i can create a spend it that's not an issue because so by default you will see the bm supply uh, for any transaction this spend category will come as default like catering And this is again sorry, a global location number, a unique number for the supplier. And let's talk about this purchase order options, issue options. How do you want to issue the purchase order? So uh, we'll issue it via email only, always. We'll go to primary and Twitter gmail.com. If you want to disable change order, means the purchase order which you create, and as a supplier says, yeah, I won't accept any change orders. So supplier says, okay, I won't accept this kind of behavior. So you'll say, okay, I'll disable the change order feature for you, where once a PO is created from our side, issued to, your, to you, will not make any changes to our PO. So for that feature, click on this disable change order. Or let's not click on this for practice purposes. Shipping terms. Okay, so it's a free carrier, free origin. Okay, of a free destination. A freight on board destination means when it will reach the destination, the party who's receiving it, that party will pay. Or freight on board origin means the party like supplier from the origins where it has originated that party will pay. So no need to uh, get into any of this. Shipping method, always express, uh, priority overnight. No need to get into this. Acknowledgement expected. When we issue the PO, we expect an acknowledgement from the supplier that yes, you have received the PO sent by us. If you want to do that, do that. But it's like an additional step on the PO, we have to acknowledge it. Supplier minimum order amount, without this will not uh, deliver anything to you. Let's say 1000. Okay, minimum order amount currency is USD. Advanced ship notice, we all know, right? We When we buy from Amazon, uh, Flipkart, Mintra, I think girls case, this is more of Mintra and boys case, this is more of uh, Amazon and Flipkart. So uh, one ship notice is nothing like we have, maybe we have shipped your dresses, we have shipped your heels, all those things, items and everything. That's called advanced ship notice. We they inform you in advance that what's the status of your uh, parcel or courier. Now in 10 days, you will reach, uh, reach your destination or five days or three days, two days, one day, or the courier person has left and he will deliver by the end of day tonight, today. So like that. So advanced ship notice is required. And in how many days he will inform us? Let's say five days. Okay. Uh, related work tag. 
it's a call center they have enabled let's add a call center here so by default whenever we we'll set the uh, supplier this call center will also appear classifications okay so if, it, if you want to enable a spine character hierarchy you can do that here otherwise let's talk about this interesting feature and then you can create your own classification as i show you there's a task of maintain supply classification using that you can do it <laughs> let me give you a gyan on 30 seconds on this in us in europe in canada and not sure about middle east habibi <laughs> but in your uh, european markets or regions or americas that in america now there is a rule okay and it's part of your corporate governance also and social responsibility also that you have to give business so earlier what was happening is suppose i am a white owned company i'm a white person i'm the chairman and i'll give business to only white people not people sorry people white people only i'll not give business to like black community or black people or to asians i hate asians <laughs> like that so government passed out a rule in us that you can't do that you can just simply give uh all of your uh, what you call business or requirements to just one company or few selected race or ethnicity or um, religion based kind of that work right you have to segregate to different people or communities so that law when it came it was like a game changer so earlier companies had monopoly wherever they wanted to uh, ask this stuff they could do it okay and other small small vendors and people were not getting a chance to get the business from the big companies and because of this now they have to give like 25% of their uh, requirements or business to companies uh this is like lgbtq community okay now you have to give that you have to publish a report saying that okay this is the business we have given to this many uh, races or communities or groups so hota kya hai ki like you have to give your business to a black community uh, veterans women owned widow owned businesses lgbtq gay lesbians like that and supply decision by county and there's a proper check also huh, from the government you can't say okay it's not like that you have to have documents also so widow owned businesses or veteran owned businesses lgbtq community so this is called supplier classification in uh, work day and it's happening it's not just that you won't believe what happening on the global level now you have to submit the carbon footprint detail also to the governments to the environment agencies and how like how many of your employees travel from one location to another location using the car using the flight using the rail so like that as you know it's a csr thing kind of thing so it's mandatory and this classification is also mandatory restore my supplier huh? So if you want to add anything you can do it it's a contingent worker do not reimburse contingent worker expensive goods 
So it's like, yeah, I just got hired for 10 days in this company for a project and I submitted an expense, a big expense report. So I can disable that. We do not allow contingent worker to submit expense reports. Attachment is just like an attachment note. It's just like note. Okay. So we are good to go. And remember, we have to give this ID here. So we'll submit this. Let me quickly go out this default export disappear, right? Okay. Thanks for doing business with us.
Okay, let's log in with one of these guys and let's approve the supplier. Start proxy with a start proxy. Yeah. I don't plan. When you're configuring tenant and all those things, the security is the key thing. You have to assign all these rules, security groups, user based security groups to everyone. Mm -hmm. you everything nothing will work now me have 10 steps but you've not assigned the roles so to get hung on a cell all of the time so let's go back our supplier is ready as Aaron Carton start proxy Okay, let's find the supplier first. A done port. Okay, we will go to find suppliers then. Good, it's active. <coughs> Good indication lighting. I don't get the sign because it's wrong. Okay, so now this you see supply connection tab was not there earlier. This contact and purchase orders, supplier contact. So if you go to supplier contact, you can add one contact here. Let's say <coughs> Mr. James. James Richard. Richard. Contact information, add an email, James at Vimal. Oh, it's a work used for billing and bootstrapping. Where is it okay? Done. Oops, my connection is been added. Supply connection name is uh, Adam Briggs. Method. That is the shipping terms. Again, that is if you have to email default, you will be able to apply me. Default remit to connection. Uh, let's see, some of them.
So basically, <coughs> if you look at this, it's nothing, it's based on different connections. So one supplier can have multiple connections and places, okay. right? So from there, if you want to order that order from like uh, Gauri shop, all that's part of same, uh, just like Reliance Digital, right? Reliance Digital mm -hmm. has branches across India. In Delhi also, they will have 10 different branches, just yes. like that. Same. Okay. In simple words. Okay. 